In this video, you will learn how to make this pie chart in Google Sheets. I have generated this pie chart using this set of data. You can see here the data contain two columns. First one shows the items which are displayed in legend and second one is the expenditure. These values are displayed in slices. So let's start this tutorial. Before starting this tutorial, I will remove this graph. We will delete this one. Firstly, select this data. Go to insert and here you will find the option of chart. Shortcut is also available here. You can also use that one. Now I will move it here. When you insert a chart, a chart editor will display here. You can see here there are two options. First one is the setup and second one is the customize. It is not mandatory that when you select data and insert chart that pie chart will be generated. It will uh, depend upon the default setting of your Google Sheets. Previously I have generated this pie chart so it has automatically generated this pie chart. If for that purpose, if that is not generated, you can use chart type option. Click here and Google Sheet will suggest some charts. You can use either one. And I want to make a pie graph, so I have used this graph. Additionally, if you scroll down, there are different chart options. You can use any one. Currently, you can see here that the pie chart is selected which is our requirement. So by using this option, you can select the chart of your design. I will again go to edit chart option. And if you scroll down here, you can see here I have checked the option of use row to as header. This is my row to which I contain items and expenditure headings. So Google Sheet uh, did not display these values as data. So these are displayed as a header. Now I will move to customize option. In customize option, there are different options available to customize your pie graph according to your requirement. Firstly, uh, we will start from chart style. Click here. And from here, you can adjust the background color of this graph. I will not change it. And you can adjust the font style. I will select Arial. And chart border color, I will select black. Now here are different options available for reset layout. If you check on this option, it will change to 3D. I will not change it to 3D. You can even use maximize option. Now come to pie chart options. Here first one is the donut hole, the hole inside the pie graph. For example, if I select it 25%, then a hole will be generated inside the pie graph. Uh, I will select 0%. Now there is no border color currently. I will select the black border color. So you can see here black uh, color appeared around the slices. Next one is the slice label. So click here. There are different options available. Either you want to display these labels, which are the values are the value. These are the labels, these are the values, percentages, value and percentages. I want to uh, display these values as well as the overall percentage. So I will select this option. You can select any option according to your desire. From here, you can adjust the font size and the format of these labels. Uh, currently, it is selected Arial because I have already selected Arial. And here I will select the 14. I want to bold it and with black color. 
black color is already selected there is no need to do that now we further move down and next option is pie slices the formatting of pie slices if you click on pie slice there and here down arrow down arrow uh, option appeared here you can click on it and you can select any slice for example currently i want to change the color of this food slice i will select food slice and from color i can choose any color for example i want to insert a color like this one you can see here the color is changed i don't want to change color so i will change this setting secondly there is a option of distance from center to explode the slice for example i want to explode this slide so make sure that slice is selected from these options and i will select 25 percent you can see here that the slice is exploded i will change it back to zero percent and now we will explore other options which is the chart and axis titles i will write chart title here the chart title is family expenditure oh sorry i will write it again now you can also format this title font size 24 arial bold you can even adjust the alignment i will select center align with black color now we will move to the last option which is the legend click here in position you will find different option click here this down arrow and there are different option which uh, which is labeled the legend on right side left side bottom side or top side uh, if you want label you will uh, find the pie graph like this one and if you want to insert a legend you can select the position of the legend for example i want to insert a legend on right hand side you can see here the label will be disappeared and it will uh, disappear like a legend now there is a option to edit format this legend or edit this legend from here you can select the font from here you can select the size of font for example 12 you can bold it or italic according to your desire and from here you can select the color of this legend so by doing so we have completed the formatting of this graph i will close chart editor now click on your chart and here you will find the option of three dots click here if you click on edit chart then the chart editor will be open from here you can delete chart from here you can download chart in any format click suitable format click on suitable format for example png or pdf then this image will be downloaded in this format or if you want to copy this chart click here and paste it on your desired location that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye